All right, let's go. And we're walking out to a B-52 plane crash. I'm hiking. <laughs> Tim's hiking today. Tim didn't want to hike today, but Tim's hiking today. Because we want to go see this plane crash memorial. It's where a B-52 crash in 19... I think it said 53. Had six people on board. One of which was a 19-year-old Navy seaman. Huh? Six hundred feet this way is all I can tell you. Well, there's one thing I can say. It's cool up here right now. So, yeah, you'd have told me it was just a few feet this way, and I, yeah. I'd be about six miles from here. Look at here. Get that mushroom. It's not a long trail. 2.1 miles is not a long trail. Now, when you have to mark, walk it both ways and it's 4.2 miles, it gets a little long. A sign. Definitely need hiking boots. Yes, we both do. Go to the other side of the sign. We can hike out to... No, we can't either. Never mind. That's it. Nope, that's Memorial Trail. What does that say? It doesn't. Bethel Creek Campsite, Sparks Creek Campsite, Dowell Nile Blue, WJSP TV Tower. The country store is 14.7 miles that way. I will not make you do that, Tim. I'm thinking that that is the memorial. Right. Yeah, obviously Tammy and I don't know how to read a sign. I'm directionally challenged. And I forgot. That's because you got all awesome. But I think we're on the right track now. Huh? I think we're on the right track now. I think we are. Some views. The sun is bright. Huh? Could be spectacular. <laughs> I hear an airplane. Hope history's not flying on the feet there. Not while we're on this spot. I hope not. I don't know if we've been 600 feet yet or not, but. We have not. I'm sure there will be some sort of sign indication or something another boulder <laughs> that's a baby boulder and this is definitely going downhill what goes downhill must come back up Whoa, Rocky.
so you can see it through the. Oh, you did find a few back here, didn't you? It's a good one too. We're on another trail right now too, cause we got. Blue. Found one. Blue blaze. You want this? Okay, so here we are. Here we go. Apparently in this, near this site, on October 1953, the USA FTB-25J crashed on the way from England AFB to crashed Andrews AFB. England Air Force Base. Eglin, I'm sorry. Four died in the crash. USAF pilot Captain Stephen A. Clisham. How do you want to say it, baby? Like Co-pilot USAF Captain Virgil G. Harris. USAF TSGT Otherlier B. Hoke. That's, wow. Yeah. And passenger USAF A3C Robert W. Davidson. Passenger USAF A2C Benny J. Shepard died here after the crash. USN Airman Richard K. Smith. 19-year-old passenger from Ramson, New Jersey, survived the crash. Mr. Smith and the pilot's daughter, Miss Monica Clissom Coffee, unveiled this plaque on Veterans Day weekend, November 10th, 2012. There's a lot of stuff happening in 2012. Uh, yeah. Where is Eglin Air Force Base? Isn't that, isn't that in Georgia somewhere? Maybe. It was headed, it was headed to Andrews Air Force Base, which is in Panama City. Not exactly sure where to where, but somewhere out here. The trail goes that way, but we're gonna go back to the other way because we want to see hobnob, whatever knob, whatever it is. You. <laughs> okay. So we're going to uh, say bye for now.